sands on the horizon and tight. Hi! <laughs> Is anybody home? I told y'all I was coming on. I know you're going to be here. My face above water. <laughs> My feet can't touch the ground. Can't touch the ground. And it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just dance so everybody gets here. So we just wait after wait, wait after wait. So we just I don't know how long it's gonna let me play music. Hey, is anybody home today? We're gonna talk about something, and it's gonna be Irish moss. Tell me if you're here. Say, hey, hey, you're in the house. Hey, Sheila, how are you? And if I don't call your name, like, I only see Sheila. I see Margaret. Hey, Lynn. Hey, girl, how are you? <laughs> you know what the only problem with these live feeds is this. Number one, Christopher hates it when I take, like, the, the hamburger-style video where I'm narrow. But if I want to see your comments, like, if I do it wide, like, it's almost impossible, okay? I like to see you. Number two, when somebody watches this later, when they want to hear about Irish moss, they're going to have to hear me do this yin-yang. So if you're one of those people watching this after the fact, you could, like, scooch through just a little bit, and then at the end, you could scooch back just a little bit and be on your little way, right? <laughs> hey, Stacy. Brown Thrifty Love, good morning. First time for live feed. Hey Pam, how are you? Y'all, this is gonna be fun. I have something to share with you about Irish moss and I have some detailed facts here that I want to tell you. And I wanna do it in a concise form at the beginning here so that when people watch this after the fact, there's not a lot of, you know, tanny yin yang, you know how I do. So um, anyway, Let's hear just a second more song, and then we're going to get on with this, shall we? What are y'all doing on this Saturday? It is Saturday. Yes, it is. My son, if y'all don't know Christopher, somebody asked me earlier where he had been. They missed seeing him. You know, when your son's 18, sometimes they're not really on board with always being on Mommy's YouTube videos. I don't know what his problem is, but... <laughs> hey, Tammy, how are you? You're working? I am always working. I mean working it. <laughs> Anyway, so he just left for work, but later on today in the house of love and light, there is a party going on here at, um, yes, six o'clock. It is the meeting of the, the dudes here. And I said, oh, the dudes are coming over. The dudes are coming over. He's like, look, we're playing in the building. Okay. Are you coming out there? I'm like, I, I could provide snacks, son. I really could be doing like some salsa and chips and and I could provide that, you know, and I have kombucha in the kitchen. Like, I, I could serve that. Like, I could serve a lot of kombucha. Y'all would be buzzing out there. And, and like, I, he's like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, you're just mad because they like me more than you. Nene, two, 2015. You love my shirt. Y'all, I got this at a yard sale about 10 years ago. It's kind of a little short half shirt. And I had on these because I was doing a little mopping, and now I'm not. <laughs> so anyway, who's saying that? The Brown Girl Network. Thanks, girl. That's sweet. Anyway, so let's have a second music, and then we're going to get on with this, and then people that watch this later can quit saying, could you just get to the point? The point is chatting with y'all, you know? <laughs> y'all know this song? kind of lullaby at the same time. <laughs> okay, that's all the party for now. So anyway, let me tell you this. I want to talk to you about Irish moss, okay? Which is not actually a moss, it's a seaweed. So let's get into it, shall we? Hello, Noelle. Hey, Darlene, how are you? 
Dr. Jackie Steele. Hello from California. So what I want to talk to you about is how it is a great collagen form for your body. Okay, it is a thickener. It's a great filler for smoothies. I am in the midst of devising a wrap made with this stuff, okay? Because that's the number one thing. Like, if you had a good wrap, a good, easy, raw wrap, you would be wrapping it up, right? You would be wrapping up more greens. And after all, you need to get your greens in, baby. People are leaving their veggies on the table, and especially the greens. And why? Why? It is where the regeneration begins, right? So don't leave those behind. And when you're having smoothies, this is a great way to thicken those up. It has no taste, zero taste, zero taste before you're like and Christopher's in the kitchen like it's like a dang science experiment in here you know and <laughs> then I of course had to start singing obviously blinding me with science right and he was like I'm <laughs> Anyway, so it's like a stabilizer for your blood sugars too and for lots of recipes It can be a thickener like a gelatin type substance Okay, we'll get into that in a minute when we go into the kitchen of love and light and I show you how it comes dried How you're gonna soak it rinse it and prepare it and how it looks after it's starting to gelatize Okay, gelatinize go jelly like so anyway no taste when you open up the package it smells like, um, and you you put it underwater, you have to rinse the stuff real good. It comes in its organic form, so it's just like if you picked it up off the, the seashore, you know, and it smells like the ocean. And every time I soak that stuff, I think, God, can you please at some point let me go to the ocean again? Like, I haven't been there in so long, and which is sad because I could drive there in three and a half hours. Like, I, we could go today. We, do y'all want to go? So, anyway, and it smells like the ocean. It has this very... Just open up your lung smell. I love it. Okay, so it has that. But once you get it rinsed good and soaked and all this, and you've got it really, you have to get all the sand and the salt saltiness off there, okay? So you're going to rinse, and then you're going to drain it in a colander. Rinse, drain, rinse, drain about three times. You're going to soak it overnight for about 12 to 24 hours. You can't soak it too long, but do at least 12 hours, okay? I usually just let it soak overnight. Then you're going to rinse it again, and then rinse it again, okay? And then I'm going to show you how to blend. I'm going to show you what the proportions are for that, okay? So, what I want you to also know is Irish Moss has this component in there called carrageenan, okay? This is a common something you think you know that isn't so. Carrageenan in its almost like pharmaceutical uh, situation where it's like taken out, boiled, chemicalized, used in foods that are like, say, ice cream. It's like a stabilizer in a lot of foods. It's like a gelatin consistency, but that's not good for you. That's pulling out part of the components of it and making it into something else. That's not what I'm talking about, okay? So don't go there. There are a lot of situations, a lot of scientific data about this all over the internet. It is safe. I've been using it for years, okay? It's been safe for me, let me say that. Also, I'll tell you something else about how it's harvested in a way that it doesn't pick up the toxins from the ocean in a minute, okay? But <clears throat> what I want to say is the pharmaceutical extract of that, and I'm calling it that like you would think of it like a drug, okay? It's, it inflames the intestines, but the whole Irish moss form itself, when you're making it into this gel and you're putting it into your smoothies, soups and sauces for a thickener, is actually anti-inflammatory. It's great for the guts. It's great for colitis, IBS, leaky gut syndrome, polyps, all these different things. It's a coating. If you've had your gallbladder out and, and your gallbladder's pumping bile like that, okay, and, the, and your body's pumping bile and there's no coating. So it is a great coating. It's a great um, calming effect for the gut tracts is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, it's also great for a mask. You can put it in the mask you blend it up. I'm going to show you in a minute. You can put it on your face, let it sit on there for about an hour, and it is great for plumping the skin. Okay, it has like a collagen effect, all right? And, um, hello, friend. So, I will tell you this. You know, I used to have, there's a couple things I've done for my skin over the years. Number one is the greens, baby. Green juice, low glycemic green juice. Getting in about two pounds a minimum, never do I get just a pound, but let's say minimum of a pound to two pounds a day. Really, it's more like a pound and a half to two pounds. Through green juices, through smoothies, through my dinner salad, that's how I do it. 
that has restored my skin. Also adding in chia seeds, adding in hemp seeds, getting those omega-3 fatty acids, okay? That has restored my skin and my hair. I used to have no hair from about here up. I would wear do-rags and all this. I was very, very sick with autoimmune diseases years ago. I also feel like the Irish moss that I add, I add this several times a week, probably about four times a week to my smoothies, okay? Also, I will add it into a sauce and soup. So I feel like that the collagen, it, it ups the collagen production in your body. Okay, this is what we want. My skin used to be so scarred. All I wear now is basically powder. It's Zuzu cosmetic powder. Okay, so it's like I don't use a lot of hocus pocus potions. I use swell skin. Um, vegan and cruelty free cleansing bar and sea buckthorn oil moisturizer. That's all I use and I wear that um, powder. That's all that's on my skin and it is its freedom at its highest. When I used to be so scarred and I'm not saying my skin looks perfect now, I'm just saying I'm 45 years old and my skin is regenerating. When everyone around me is complaining, how are they going to get Botox? How are they going to go in for all these chemical pills, all these things? I'm thinking, raw plants for the win, you know? So anyway, um, so you can do a mask with it. Okay, what else I want to? About it being good for the digestive tract, I told you that, but about IBS, Crohn's, gallbladder situations, um, protective coating for the whole gut tract, all right? Also provides iodine, which is great for the thyroid balance, okay? Sulfur is in there. It's great for the skin, cleansing the skin, clearing the skin, okay? You know how a lot of masks you'll see have sulfur in there? This is why it calms inflammation, too. So when you put this on your skin, if you've got a lot of breakouts or whatnot right now, it will calm the skin, okay? So um, great for joint inflammation. Like if you have arthritis and such, it's great for this. But the problem is people aren't doing these things. I have a friend who's got arthritis and it's just like, okay, we'll just take the pharmaceutical drugs. Why? Have you seen the laundry list of side effects that these pharmaceutical drugs cause? It's worse than what you started with, right? So anyway, there's a natural way. There's a natural thing for that, you know? So anyway, um, has potassium, which also helps with, men with memory issues. Also, potassium is great for sagging skin, sallow skin. It's great for tightening skin, okay, and muscles. It's got a high amount of selenium in there, which again is good for the thyroid, okay? So also detoxes heavy metals out of your body. There is a component in there called allergen i think is how you pronounce it what happens is it keeps this from uptaking any radiation from the ocean and also takes heavy metals out of the body it's a grand detoxing tool are y'all picking this up yeah i'm gonna tell y'all um where i don't have my package now because i put all my things in my jars but i'm going to tell you some reputable places and the couple of different types i have used and the ones that i go to i buy things by usually i have a list of things that i use companies that i like and i go by what company's having a sale right then who's having a dang sale that's what i do and i stock up and this is something you can stock up on because it lasts a long time i've had some for like six months eight months easily in the cat in my cabinet of love and light and also once you blend it and put it in the fridge i've had mine up to a month typically i blend the amount that i'm going to use over that time okay so anyway we're going to go in there and we're going to talk about it and i'm going to devise a flexi wrap made with this stuff and you're going to be saying my name because that sounds like a thing right there <laughs> Anyway, so what else that I want to tell you about this is it's like a dang natural Botox, okay? Who don't want that? Helps body produce more collagen, okay? We're going to soak it for 12 to 24 hours. We said that, and then we're going to rinse, 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 and then we're going to rinse again, okay? So it's going to swell up about four times its size, and I'm fixing to show you that. It tightens the pores. It plumps the skin, plumps out wrinkles. I'll tell you something else that does that is celery juice, and I've got a lot of videos on the benefits of celery juice, but that stuff right there has kept me from looking dark under the eyes. I wake up. I don't have any puff. I don't have any bag or sag. I'm not kidding. It is like I am regenerating. I feel like I'm especially in the last say year and a half i feel like i'm growing younger right 
which I don't mind my age. I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, I wish, I love being 45 and I love being 50 and I love being 55 because I'm going to be the best me I can be. You know what I mean? I don't mind that I have a couple of sunspots. I don't mind that when I smile, I, I have little lines. I don't mind those things. It it's, shows life, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I want my hair to be thick as it can be. I want there to be a bounce in my step. I want to be zingy, you know? I want my, my eyes to exude and show the light that comes from within. That's important to me, you know? My teeth have grown stronger over the years. My gums have tightened and they're not receding like they were. That's a real thing. So anyway, um, let me tell you if there's anything else. Okay, here's a couple of places that you can get the Irish moss, okay? You can first of all go to um, Amazon, okay? Divine Organics, D-I-V-I-N-E, Organics, okay? You can get it on Amazon. I saw it today, one pound, which is a lot of this stuff. Remember, it's gonna grow. It's like you're getting four pounds. It's kind of like in its sun-dried form, okay? So it was $21 over there. Also, um, see, I like to shop on Amazon because what I do is I have an Amazon credit card. So all month long, I get my gas over there. I will buy things um, at Costco's now takes that, different things, and then at the end of the month, I pay that off, okay? So it's I never pay interest on that, but yet I get Amazon reward points. So things that I buy over Amazon, I may go over there and have like, I don't know, $14 in free stuff, and who don't want that? So anyway, um, and I don't have Amazon Prime, but I always um, order enough that I get free shipping or I look for the one that's free shipping. Shop around on there because you can get a, a good deal. Okay, you can also get um, the Raw Food World, which is Matt Monarch's site. He's my beloved friend. A lot of times you can get a 17% discount on his. You look around for his sale right then. He's always got a coupon code. And his was um, about $23 over there today. And it was also uh, Wild Crafted Divine Organics, okay? Um, actually, I wanna think his was $19 today. Okay, also on Vitacost. Vitacost runs some great deals. Sometimes they'll have like, okay, 20% off every dang thing with free shipping, okay? So today they have um, Star West Botanical Organics. I have used both of these, okay? They had 20% off and theirs today was uh, $20.99, so 21 bucks for a pound. All of these are a pound, okay? But look for the ones that are raw Irish moss seaweed that are organic, okay? So I have used the Star West and the Divine, okay? Wildcrafted Divine. So is everybody picking that up? And we'll go to the kitchen. So what's cool about this, this live feed versus doing it over there on Instagram is once it's gone, or people are trying to say, what are you talking about? I'm having to backtrack where this will be recorded after the fact, which is kind of awesome, right? So um, I think that's all I wanted to tell you about that. And so let's go to the kitchen, shall we? Come on. <laughs> wave after wave, wave after wave, feels like. Okay, so here we are. First of all, can you enjoy my little girl's kombucha tea? Look at that. Christopher was up at Carly's yesterday and she sent this to me. Look at it, it's even got some little slightly fermented fruit in it, look at that. She did her little Scooby Scooby thing, you know. I don't really, I've never done um, kombucha, but she does, and there you go, her and little baby. <laughs> and, and here, can you enjoy these? Look at that, very beautiful. I got flowers and now they're starting to dry out and, and I'm just, ah, oh, beautiful. Okay, so let me show you what we've got here. Okay, first of all, I don't know if I can turn the camera around or not. It might cut you off. Okay, so here is what the Irish moss looks like when you get it. Okay, hold on. Okay, so it looks like this, all right? Comes in a packet and you can take it out and put it in here if you want. And Oh my gosh, it smells like you are walking on the ocean. Oh, relaxing. Do y'all see that? Okay, so that's how it comes. And let me show you. As you see, it has like salt on there. 
Hold on, let me open this other one. I thought I had everything prepared. Let's see. Okay. So, as you see, it has sand and salt on it. Do y'all see that? Look. Okay, so that's why you're going to rinse it really good in a colander. You're going to rinse, 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 rinse. Okay, so it comes like that. And I put on my Instagram how it looked when I, I was sucking it, okay? And then after it soaks and you rinse and you're ready to blend, let me show you what it looks like, okay? Are y'all like how I'm prepared for this? So look, do y'all see that? It looks just like something you would pick up off, off the seashore, see? Okay? And really like, it, it, tastes, it tastes like nothing. That tastes a lot like water. Let's just get a... Because I know you're thinking, oh my gosh, like. It tastes like water in a gel form. That's what it tastes like. Just in case your day wasn't complete until I sucked on the Irish moss, okay? <laughs> anyway, so that's what we've got. That's what it looks like. You see, I'm fixing to blend that too. Actually, see, I'm going to try to make this into a raft, okay? But this. That's what it looks like after it's blended. Let me open. Hold on. We don't want to spill this everywhere. Okay. So here's what it looks like. Can y'all see? Okay. This has not been refrigerated, but once it's refrigerated for about an hour, I wanted you to see how the blend should look. Do you see it's like slightly... Um, do y'all see that? Okay. See, it looks like applesauce, right? This is the consistency it should be right here. This is important. Make sure y'all can see. You see? Okay. So when we put it in the fridge for about an hour, what's going to happen is it's going to become more solid, like you would think of a, of a jello cup, you know? Watch it wiggle, see it jiggle. Okay, so then what can you do with that? Let me tell you the, the ratios too. So we're going to talk about the ratio being once it's like this, okay, once it's in this form right here, soaked at least 12 hours, rinse, drain, rinse, drain, right? So you're going to take that and let's say you, you've used a two cup, um, let's say you've like two, two cups, okay, and you've packed it in there, pack in after it's soaked like this. You're going to put that in your blender. This, If you use a low-power blender, okay, work with it. Like, use smaller batches because this is something that will kind of slow your blender down, okay? So, if you do two cups packed of that, then you do two cups water. It's one-to-one -one ratio, okay? But that is only if you've got it packed in there good, all right? So, are y'all there? Somebody call. You blend it up, and once it's blended, then you're going to pour it into a container like this, or a bigger one, and you're going to slip it into the fridge. And then every time you want to make like a smoothie, or you want to thicken up like a tomato soup, or you want to do a sauce, you start out with about a tablespoon. Usually I would do one to two tablespoons in my smoothies. And, um, and yeah, you don't taste it. It tastes like nothing. I, I'm really like, I'm not kidding. It tastes like nothing. Like it has zero taste, like um, like if you were eating an ice chip. You want to see how the the gel tastes? <laughs> I mean, I know y'all like that's disgusting. Look. It tastes like nothing. It, right now, it has the consistency of um, grits down here in the south. Do y'all know what that is? Or like a cream of oatmeal, but it has no taste, right? So anyway, do y'all have any more questions about Irish moss? I sound like somebody that cut your hair in South Georgia. I live in South Carolina. <laughs> Um, hi, hi, Karen. What you doing? Um, it lasts a good month. I, it will last longer than that in the fridge, but I will tell you that I've had it in the fridge for a month before, and it's just the same, okay? 
It's okay, I don't mind. Somebody said I had an accent before. I believe it was my son who strives not to sound like me. Hey Maritza, yes, I mentioned, um, this will record. I mentioned where I got it. I, I showed the different kinds um, that you can get on Vitacost, Divine Organics, okay? You can get um, the Raw Food World and on Amazon. And I showed y'all, I told y'all a couple different kinds. And, um, yeah, it's happening now, Maritza. <laughs> Thanks for all the nice comments, y'all. Welcome, Maritza. I wanted to see my friend Jen here. Jen, if y'all, if y'all don't watch my friend's channel, it is Vegan Adventures with Jean G E N E and Jen J E N N. She cracks me up. Uh, she, she Jen eats plants. Okay, she eats lots of raw plants and and lots of cooked plants. And Jean is is a vegan and he eat, likes to eat lots of vegan you know man man food like um like vegan hot dogs and vegan cheese and all that kind of stuff so um and sometimes he he's back to kind of vegetarian but anyway the point is they're they're funny and um yesterday i was talking about not having a date and <laughs> she and we text sometimes and she sent me a message and she was saying um <laughs> There's a meeting in the lobby at 4 p.m. for cheap and clueless men, and I had to <laughs> make a Snapchat. It was so funny. Ah. Hey, Brian, what are you doing? I've been seeing you over on Facebook, dude. <laughs> Y'all, I am manifesting. Um, hey, Olga. Y'all want to talk about anything else before I go so I can keep this kind of short and sweet? But, um, yeah, I, I kind of want to manifest a move, and I'm thinking about Florida, you know? I'm just thinking about, see, my daughter lives closer, but more towards Asheville, you know? And the, the problem is, though, it's become so condensed and highly trafficked up there and it's cold, friends. I want to be warm. I want to be able to walk outside at any time of the day and just have on my short shorts, you know, and my half shirt and just let the sun be on my skin and breathe the fresh air and walk on the ocean, you know. You feel discouraged, somebody said you had fibroids. I know someone personally that has healed um, uterine fibroids and there is a lot, there's a good video about a lady that healed fibroids. Um, type in the Life Regenerator, that is Dan McDonald. And he did a video, it might have been a year or two ago with a lady, I forget her name, it started with S, but um, she healed those and the thing is, do you really want to heal? Then really do it. Tell yourself, I'm the one that's going to heal. I'm the one who will heal. That's the number one thing, okay? Is believing plus doing, really doing it, really cutting out all the toxic crap. Not to cuss, but that's what it is. Toys, really bringing things into your body, flooding your body with nutrients. If you're not digesting food right now, flooding with green juices, flooding with green smoothies, salads, healthy plant fats, cutting out everything you don't need, including a toxic environment, including toxic people, all those things. Do you wanna live? I wouldn't be discouraged. I hope you won't be discouraged because back in the day, I, I remember that I was discouraged too after I said that. And, uh, and healing is possible. I'm living proof of it. And I know other people that are living proof. And um, believing is a lot to do with it. How are you speaking to yourself? 
you know, you could be eating the most pristine diet and living in the most pristine environment and create disease by negative self-talk. You know, we've got to release the old story and know we're stepping into our brand new, better self. You know? Um, I would be cleansing out my gut track. I would be doing skin brushing. I would be bouncing on a rebounder. I might come to y'all tomorrow and talk about getting rid of cellulite and toning up on that rebounder. Um, you know, weight loss is possible. Clearing of your eyes, cleaning up of your organs, you know, clearing a fatty liver, regenerating your organs, you know, regrowing your hair, healing your skin, and most of all, healing your mind and spirit. That's what it's about. You know, just like that song, wave after wave and day after day, I get up to a regenerated body, mind, soul, and spirit. It's real. Anyway, so unless y'all want to talk about anything else, I'm going to hop off here. Shout out to Swaggy X 2000. Hey, hey, friend. <laughs> I've been talking about Irish moss and I've been just just sucking on the delicacies of the Irish moss so y'all know it's flavorless and you can go back and you can understand the benefits of the Irish moss. Are you leaving, Sheila? Actually, it's kind of interesting, like, mm, it's really kind of snacky, actually. And now that I think about it, this could probably be, there could probably be like a dip that this could be marinating in and then I could just be snacking on Irish moss. I'm going to make a wrap. I really am. Mr. New Life. I know who you are, 1968. You have a YouTube channel, don't you? Do you have a YouTube channel, Mr. New Life, 1968? And if you do, did you see I commented on there? Sometimes I look at, um, maybe y'all have a channel or I look to see who it is that's talking to me and, um, and I'll see y'all's videos and I'll watch. My clothes are not on straight. <laughs> I can hang it on the wall for decoration. Yes, I could. Raw too good, raw Z good. Hey. Does it have to be stored in a glass container or will a Debbie Meyer container work? Yes, a Debbie Meyer container will work. Let me show y'all something. Do y'all enjoy this setup? I, I was prepared, okay? And as you see, these containers contain, contain what else but moss, right? <laughs> and of course, moss. And of course, I showed my little girl's kombucha that she made. And now we've got the... In case y'all don't know, I don't know if you know or not, but this is my cabinet of love and light. Hello, I'm, don't be jealous. Don't hate me because my cabinet's beautiful, okay? This right here is Kamu Kamu powder, which is like the most potent amount... Um, powdered form of vitamin C you can get. Okay, then we've got some raw flax seeds. We've got some chia seeds, coconut. Um, what's that? Oh, I need to shut that. I used those last night. Dried apricots. What's that? Maca powder. Green powder, of course. That's green. That's um, Vimergy. This is... Uh, perfect green right here. Oh, y'all can't see. I'm sorry. Then see down here, I have all my spices and stuff. These, um, the caps on these right here are, are these, okay? They're ball BPA free. And these also come from ball, which are the little labels you can put on top. I don't know if y'all can see that. And they, they disintegrate in water, which is kind of cool in case you want to see they just live up there. 
And then here's all my spices, onion flakes, um, Italian spices. There's a little bit of dulse flakes left. I need to revamp those because hello, we can't live without dulse flakes. Oh, I was gonna show you this. Um, so just in case you don't know what the Debbie Meyer green boxes are, th this is my favorite size right here. It's like a bread box because hello, it holds lots of stuff, right? And I like this one too, which is a shorter. But the thing about these, you can get these on hsn.com, but as you see, like they're really, you see these are thick, okay? And I've had, I have had this one right here for eight years, hello. Um, See, they also they come in these two, which are, this is also the hard ones, okay? But now, if you go to Bed, Bed Bath & Beyond, you can get this. They have this size, okay? And then they have um, this size comes in that pack. And then there's a deeper one that's this size. But what I want you to see about these is this. Like, look. Okay, these are not as thick. They work the same way, but they're they're kind of a cheaper version to me. Like, I don't really... I don't love those as much, but um, the good thing about those is, and by the way, they are BPA free. Uh, the good thing about those is they let the gases off, the off gases of fruits and veggies and greens out of the box, but they don't let external gases and external crud in. So really, if you store your veggies in there, even if say you, say you get a big pack of organic uh, bulk buy greens, okay? What you want to do is when you buy your greens, you want to make sure you get those as dry as you can. Like, choose the dry pack. Don't choose the one that has any condensation in there. Because when there's moisture in there and it's trapped in that bag, it's already starting to rot. So, go down under there. Say you're at Costco's. You got to dig, okay? Dig for a dry pack. Bring it right home. Pull it out of that bag. That's not a storage container. That's just a travel situation, okay? It doesn't live in there. It lives in Debbie Meyer green boxes. So then you get them out of there. You make sure they're nice and dry. You could even put an additional paper towel in the bottom if you use paper towels or a dish rag, okay? To absorb any moisture that might be in there. You put them in there and then you put the top on quickly and you slip them into the fridge. And they will last a good two weeks. That is no joke. So that's, you know, that those kind of things are really like, I have a lot of videos on tips and tricks to save money, how to afford a raw food diet because I'm on a budget and uh, and I'm, I'm going to make it happen. Because at the end of the day, you're gonna either make excuses or make it happen. You know what I mean? I got those jars at Walmart. They are by the um, the regular mason jar brand, okay? What I like about them is this. I, you know, I have a real like, OCD eye about me, okay? And I'm like, let me change this because that's not even sitting right. I was all fumbling in this cabinet yesterday because I'm going to restock. But, okay, so what I like about them is this. See how even the half pint jars, see how it's using the same lid? Okay. The pint size jars using the same lid and the quart size jars same lid therefore when you go to stack them they stack correctly do y'all see that like it's awesome okay so i got those at walmart i got um i think i bought three different packs i bought the quart size the uh, pint and then the half pint okay or the pint and half pint might have come together but the ones I got I made sure they all had the same size opening you know the hole in the top so the lids would be the same and that particular one they were called mason jars and they had like a white background with like a red gingham like you would think of a traditional tablecloth you know for picnic so that's what those are and then the then the ball caps that fit those I had to order these um but they are um let's see if it tells me the size or anything it's just a um eight reusable plastic storage caps regular mouth it's called let's see and um see like for example they come in all different sizes, you see. And I was gonna just use the uh, the metal ones, but they're kind of a pain. And those things can become rusty over time. And that we don't want that on our food, right? 
and also you have to get the caps on just right but see then i just have the box like this and, and then those sit down in there this is my juicer screen clearly it sits in there too but um yes do y'all need to know anything else before i go I got the jars at Walmart, and I got the uh, lids on Amazon. Hey, Tisha, is it Tisha or Taisha? Will it help thicken your hair? My hair is naturally curly, and it. You, this is something funny. My mother always says, like, what is wrong with your hair? Like, your hair was never... My hair was so straight as a kid and a teenager that it wouldn't curl. It would not curl. She used to get my hair permed when I was a kid, and it still wouldn't curl. That was when that kind of hair was in, you know. And she would roll me up in sponge rollers at night with gel and all this. You would pull it out, and it would be curly until we left for school 20 minutes later. And it was like just very very straight and then when i was sick i lost most of my hair and when it came back in it came back in very um it used to be more more frizzy than it is now it's much more moist than it used to be and this is just how my hair dries just like this it's you know it's got today i have a little bit of um shea butter uh i think it's called souffle it's like a little gel like a not really a gel but sometimes i just put coconut oil in it i use shea butter um conditioner and shampoo it's very all that's very reasonable i really like it just is so much thicker than it used to be that that's what we have to compare ourselves to you know ourself like how how are how are you doing versus how were you doing you know that's why, um, hey, Jen, I was just talking about you, girl. Yes, I also use other kind of seaweeds. I use, I love wakame seaweed, which is W-A-K-A-M-E, and um, I love it. It's so salty. I really don't consume more than about a tablespoon of that a day, or I feel like I it's too much sodium for me but i really love it and that is a it's a great addition natural sodium to your diet okay so i buy that at whole foods and um that's the emerald cove brand but i also love dulse flakes and i also love dulse leaves that you can get they're the iceland brand they're very soft and delicious i eat those i eat nori rolls from um nori sheets from rawnori.com um yes You'll have to see, Jen. They just got home from plowing. They they plow the snow in, in New York. No, that juice, uh, the juice screen is for my Omega juicer. And what you do is after you make the juice, if you want it to be additionally smooth, I don't know how much more smooth you can get it than out of that thing, but you can put the screen on and then run your juice through there too. But I've never used it. Okay, so I'm gonna go for now, but I hope y'all have enjoyed this Irish Moss tutorial, and and I hope that you will join me next week where I am clearly gonna come up with a Irish Moss wrap that will rock your world. You'll be saying, Tanny, the moss, and I'll be saying, I know. <laughs> so once you get your natural collagen on, plump your skin, regenerate yourself, and get your Irish Moss on, won't you? See y'all later, alligators. Thanks for hanging out.